So this is a 2009 Mazda 6 with a four-cylinder engine. It has a code P0101 and as you can see uh, it says mass or volume airflow circuit range performance. Um, I didn't want to use my big scanner, a more sophisticated one. I just this is uh, just one code. It's not a big deal. The reason you see one of two codes because this is one of them. It says pending, and the other one confirmed. So this is confirmed code. Uh, just to give you. Um, uh, an idea of what's going on here this code came on this car like a year ago and the only thing I did on this car I fixed the um, the mass airflow sensor itself like I did let's not say fix it I just I literally cleaned it I'm gonna show you how I did it and it really lasted almost uh, one year and um, as you can see, the car even passed inspection. Okay. Till 2026. Uh, however, this code uh, very much lasted one year, or probably the mass airflow sensor got there again. Um, so, this is a 50 50 chance when you clean it. Let me show you where is the sensor. It's a 50-50 chance uh, that that might work and might not work. This is the mass mass airflow sensor. It's uh, right on the airbox. Um, when this code come comes on uh, on a scanner, uh, it could of course means a lot of stuff. I'm not saying that it could be only means the sensor itself. You have wirings here. You have a harness. You have this uh, air tube here, the intake, uh, the air intake. You have to check it if it has a crack. Spe specifically on the Hondas, I've seen a lot, of, they clack a lot on the Hondas. And they even sell them on Amazon and everywhere, it's like 20 bucks. You could get this whole thing here. And um, many times when you go into drive on reverse, this thing, the engine moves uh, back and forward and this is moves. So that's why this is a flex hose and over time they crack. So you make sure you check this hose uh, thoroughly. So check it at the bottom, see if there is any leak. Check this hoses, any hoses inside between the throttle body and the air intake. This area, it's very important to make sure uh, nothing, there's no air is, enters the engine from here. Of course, sometimes enter somewhere else if there's a vacuum leak. But uh, I'm not getting any vacuum leak on this uh, car. I don't want to get too complicated. I'm trying to make it as simple as, as, as I can. Uh, the reason I made this video because I did really clean that sensor a year ago and it did work. And I have no issue since then. It was The car was running fine. Uh, probably it got uh, dirty again or maybe it's time just to change it. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is just going to change it. I'm going to see, show you how I change it, how I clean it. So I'm going to I don't know if I say I change it. I'm gonna clean it this time one more time. If it did work, it worked, and um, I am very much. I'm not even getting paid for this job. I'm just doing it, you know, for a friend. No, no charge, free of charge. So I'm just the money's not a big deal. I'm just gonna try to help as much as I can. So um, one more thing: make sure the air filter is clean. Okay, if it's dairy that also can cause uh, these kind of issues. Uh, you check all the vacuum leaks, check wiring. I don't want to get too technical now. Let's just focus on a simple thing and DIY and things uh, anyone can do home. And this is a simple airflow sensor, or oh, I'm sorry, mass airflow sensor. Um, <clears throat> so this applies to many cars. This thing could be here, it could be here, it could be anywhere, it could be anywhere in this area. All right, on a different, on a different cars, uh, different year, make and model, you could find it somewhere else. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and I'll show you where, what, how I'm gonna clean it, 
and we go from there. Okay, so let's remove the harness first. You have to push this one down like this and just pull it back. Also inspect the um, the harness if there is any pin damage or if any dirt here of any oil or whatever, any debris, you clean it. You could blow it with air just to make sure it's clean. This is very simple. You know, if you take this car to the dealer, they might charge you $500 to do something like this, but um, actually it's easy. And again, I'm not saying this is 100% is going to work, but it did work for me a year ago on this car, uh, and it was fine. So this is the sensor. I'm just going to take it to inside and uh, clean it. Okay, so this is the sensor here, the mass airflow sensor. Um, as you can see, there are there's uh, three elements inside here. There is one right here, and there is two inside. I don't know if you could see them. Let me just put my glasses on. Okay, I'm gonna try to make him come out. All right, so they're right there. You see him inside. Okay. They're two, they're hiding all the way inside. And in, in some cars, these, these, they're very easy to see. But um, sometimes uh, you can see there is, uh, there could be some dirt on them, some uh, debris or whatever, some air. Um, let me see here. Okay. So the way you clean this, you can use uh, whatever uh, uh, stuff that made for sensory cleaning. They sell them specified for electrical stuff. Some stuff they do say sensory cleaning or mass airflow sensory cleaner specifically for this. It's safe to use on those little elements. You don't want to damage them. Don't use carburetor cleaner or um, or, or a brake cleaner you might damage it uh, today i'm just gonna use same thing i did last time i used uh, very much uh, alcohol okay and um, i'm gonna spray on those a little bit of course it's better to use uh, the mass airflow cleaner it's because it shoots on the those little elements better but uh, you can see this one here look at this dirt coming out again why you see this i'm using a special uh, q-tip this thing here you see this so this is coming on this one right here can you bring another one So this, I did clean this last time. But look, there's a lot of dirt coming out of this, but... Uh, as you can see, this, don't underestimate this much dirt. This is could cover the metal part, and that prevented it from giving, giving accurate reading to the, to the ECU. Okay, the ones inside, they're very much hidden. I don't see that much dirt on them, but I'm going to clean them as well. Just going to bring another, another clean one. Here is another. Let's see. Okay, this is a clean. Put some alcohol on it. Okay, the one inside is not that dirty, but uh, to reach this, uh, it's better to have one of those spray to 
very much get all the gums out and any any dirt here and um, in the meantime I'm just gonna clean around here see the same stuff here was on that little uh, sensor inside just, let me just to clean this since it's already here and also depends where you drive if you drive in a very um, dusty area around factories around uh, mud dust different terrains down the street you might get this so this is from the outside but this is the same stuff was here on this little thing here I'm gonna clean it a little bit more I'm just gonna make sure this is full, really clean also um, if you don't have sharp air to just to blow it out I'm gonna show you what I use if you don't have sharp air okay so very much I use uh, air pump that you use for your bicycle okay what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna blow on this I only have two hands but um, let me see this if you have a second hand help it'll be good okay, I'm sorry this is not the ideal thing but uh, it will help okay do the same thing for the inside Of course, I don't use this, but I just so in case if you don't have a sharp air around your garage, um, you could do this. It's if enough to clean it. Okay, you want it to make sure it's dry, doesn't have anything left over on it, and then you go from there. Okay, so I don't know if this is much clearer to see. Okay, so I could see the before I couldn't see this metal part. It was uh, black, so now I can see the the shiny chrome on it. Okay, a bit magnifier. Hopefully you can see that. This is was uh, covered with uh, very much uh, wet or some damp oil for some reason. And just to let you know, I did change the filter one more time today, so this is a... Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna put it back in the car, it's dry right now. Again, I just want to remind you, this is not 100% uh, that's gonna fix it, it could be some issue inside, but most of the time we find that, like this, well, okay, if I just find out right now, this is it can cause a lot of problems, the one I just cleaned right now. So I'm gonna go put it back in the car and uh, hopefully that will fix it and hopefully that will work for you guys too um, the code on any car that comes up usually it's not necessarily it what it says like if it have any code that could relate to that one sensor but in many cases it requires a lot of diagnosis before you decide if this is the sensor because it could be one wire causing the issue ground causing the issue positive causing the issue five volt signal causing the issue uh, this seal can cause the issue filter can cause the issue vacuum leak can cause the issue the air intake hose can cause the issue a lot of stuff like I said it could cause the issue I'm just gonna take make it simple usually start with the easy cheap thing before you want to go to um, to a mechanic and spend a couple hundred dollar for uh, fixing or diagnosing so this is it could work if it work it work it didn't work it doesn't it didn't it, it didn't cost not much to 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 fix it and it doesn't hurt to try but i got dirt out and uh, i am almost sure on this car this is the issue okay it, like i said i did fix this a year ago and it did work and um that was uh, that was it all right, hopefully this time it will work. It'll last maybe another year. And uh, like I said, I'm not charging anything for this. Just making it make somebody's happy.
Okay. So let's go put it back on the car and uh, cross my finger that this is gonna work. All right. I'm just gonna cl clean this uh, hole a little bit to make sure all the clean. All right, so this is back what it was. So again, like, you know, this is something you don't have to spend too much money on for someone to do it for you. If you can do it, you can, you can't, you can't. You don't want to get your hand there, that's up to you. I'm just showing you what I did. Um, let me get the screwdriver. Some cars they do have wiring issue and you suspect the sensor and the problem is wire. Sometimes air filter, gas filter, you know, you name it, sparker plug. One of those things. Okay. So this one will clean. Alright, we'll put it back. Here, that's click, that's in. This is here. I'm gonna put it back in here. This is in, this is in, it's in. My alcohol out. Let me go clear the code and um, we go from there. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do this. Turn the ignition on. sound come on wires all right so let's go back Video mode. Uh, are you sure you want to return yes vehicle diagnostic go back uh, let's go back it was this one enter Okay, again, the two codes, this is the same code, so by one of them pending and the other one confirmed. Yes, as you can see, this is confirmed, and the second one pending, same code. Alright, so I'm going to just erase the codes. Yes, I am sure. I did it. Press enter. Commission. Engine is off. Commission is on. Okay, so now it says uh, zero codes, and um, of course has to go through the drive cycle, which is probably a hundred miles, sometimes less, and hopefully we don't see that monster codes again, and that could uh, that should do the issue. If it didn't, I might just have to change the sensor. But I have fear that's gonna do with the, with the dirt I saw on that sensor. Almost this is the problem. Okay. So again, um, if it didn't work for you, at least you tried. Uh, if it gets too complicated, and sometimes the sensor is cheap, you could get it online, but make sure you get something uh, with good brand, good name, with good reviews. You don't want to get something so, too cheap, and you might have issue, even if you change the sensor. Sometimes those sensors, if they're made uh, somewhere else, uh, they, can be, they can be a problem, okay? So make sure you get something uh, worth the uh, money. And here's, let me start the car after we clear the code and check engine light is gone. And again, I hope this is gonna last and uh, we don't see this code again. Okay, so if you watch this uh, on YouTube, uh, please give me a thumb up, help the channel to grow. I'm trying to share with you a few uh, helps uh, or hints uh, to save you some money if I can. Okay, thank you for watching.